to all of us. Essentially, by the 1st and 2nd of March, you will get your cars and various vehicles that you've requested. If you haven't finalized that, last week was the last final day. If Farouk's feeling nice, he might entertain some of you, but we've signed off on all the requirements of that. This is all the Proton cars that you require to run your departments to run the race, all the vans required to go out to the race, and all the heavy vehicles that's coordinated by Tuan Shahidan over here. All that will basically consolidate in Bukit Jalil, and on the 1st and 2nd, they will get distributed and issued. What does that mean? On the 1st and 2nd, by 2nd, 6 p.m., if you have not collected, if you are due to get a vehicle and you have not collected your vehicle, you're getting left behind in KL. All right? Um, so we're shutting down that operational area by the 2nd. Then you ask what happens between the 2nd to around the 3rd, 4th, 5th. Right? Because you only will be, most of you will be only in Langkawi from about the 6th onwards. I'm not going to dictate, I'm not going to talk <coughs> about how you're traveling up there. All of you have different travel plans, or some of you will be driving, some of you are flying in, some of you, some of your cars are going on transporters, and Farouk has that master plan. Essentially, between the 3rd and the 5th, right up to the 6th, some of, for some of you, will travel to Langkawi on various forms, in various formats. When you get your cars distributed, Farouk and the team, the logistic team, will basically go through with you how your cars will arrive, whether they go across on a pontoon, whether they stay on the island. We have signed off in that plan. If your car is meant to be in Langkawi, it will be in Langkawi. We're not open for discussion.